हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे फिफ्थ ऑफ मेरी लीड को चाले ना आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैविंग अ ग्रेट टाइम माय नेम इज संचित डुडेज आई एम वर्किंग एज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर फोर एट एडोबी एंड टुडे आई प्रेजेंट डे 675 ऑफ डेली लीड को प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन टुडे इज इंप्लीमेंट स्टैक यूजिंग क्यूज एज द क्वेश्चन इटसेल्फ सेज वी नीड टू इंप्लीमेंट स्टैक्स एंड वी कैन ओनली यूज क्यूज फॉर इट एंड वी आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर ऑफ क्यूज आर फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट काइंड ऑफ अ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर वेयर आर स्टैक्स आर last in last out first out kind of a data structure so using fifo we need to implement lifo and uh, stacks only supports four primary operations the first one is adding a new element onto the stack followed by deleting the topmost element of the stack followed by returning the topmost element of the stack and the last one is pretty simple and straightforward that tells whether the stack is empty or not without further ado let's quickly walk through the presentation i'll be walking you how to So all this question and various test cases. Why the PPT? So let's quickly hop onto it. Lead code double two five implement stack using queues. It's an easy level question on lead code, and I also feel the same. Also, if you have any doubt understanding this question, or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to ping on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are mentioned in the description, so do check them out. Now let's get started with the actual implementation. What do we need to do? We need to implement four methods. The first one is push. The next one is top that returns the topmost element of the stack, followed by pop that returns the that deletes the topmost element of the stack, and the last one is empty. And we can only use queues for it. There is no other data structure that we can use. So let's create a queue, and queue supports first in first out kind of a thing. So let's write it as well. So here we have FIFO, and now let's draw some test cases. Let's assume a, a new insertion request came, and we have to insert one into it. So one gets inserted. Now let's assume another insertion request comes, and we have to insert two into it. So two gets added. Now let's assume another insertion request comes, and we have to add three onto uh, the stack, and three gets added. Now comes the interesting case. Let's assume. a pop helper method was invoked that simply means we need to return the most recently added element onto the stack we need to delete we have to first of all identify what was the most recent element that was added onto the stack and delete that up so this is the ask how can we do that and which element that would be that element would be 3 because 3 was most recently added first in first out however we, there is no way to access this 3 element then what we should do let's think about some approach and let's create a new queue here so let's create a new queue and let's start deleting elements on this queue so which element will be deleted queue supports first in first out as a result of which the first element that is there in the queue will be deleted and how many elements are we going to delete we'll keep on deleting the elements until the size of the queue becomes equal to 1 because when the size it becomes equal to 1 then only single element is left and that would that element would be the topmost element so what i am trying to say i am saying that let's delete this element a uh, one from the queue and let's add it onto the other queue so this gets added over here then let's delete second as well so this gets added over here and now we are only left with one singular element and since we are left with one singular element uh, we know uh, this is a topmost element of the queue and we simply return and delete the sub so whenever there is a uh, there is an ask to delete the topmost element of the stack we delete all the elements on the queue add it to a separate queue and then delete the last element from it so this is one way of solving this question what could be the other way uh, instead of creating a new queue we can do it in place as well what i am trying to say let's go back to the previous case and let's just create a queue and the initial queue is something like this we have 1 2 3 in it and now there is an ask to delete the topmost element of the stack which would be 3 how can we do that so there is a there is a very straightforward way you delete the element from the queue which would be this one and you add it back onto the queue so this gets added back onto the queue so delete it from here and you add it again onto the same queue so one gets added over here you delete the topmost element of this of the queue which would be 2 now and you add it back onto the queue so 2 gets added over here and you will keep on doing this thing till the time you haven't reversed initial size minus one element and here the initial size was 3 
minus 1 is 2 that means you have to reverse only two elements out of it so this 2 is gone and now we have 3 1 2 in our queue what we have to do we have to pop out element from it and uh, how can we do that uh, we can simply delete this 3 and we'll get the desired result so uh, popping is also done top is exactly same as pop you don't have to delete it you just have to peek it up and empty is again really simple you need to check whether your queue is empty or not so we are almost done with all the logics push top pop and empty now let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude the approach remember when we are adding new elements onto the stack we are alongside performing the reversal operations that i just talked about so that uh, whenever we want to top uh, whenever the question asks us for the top element or the pop element we are able to return that in order of one time so when we are adding new elements onto the stack there and then itself we are doing these reversal operations now let's quickly hop on to the coding part and conclude it up i'll exactly follow the same steps as i just talked here here i've created a new queue and new queue is equal to new linked list and in the push operation i go ahead and add a new element onto the queue i extract the size of the queue till the time my size is greater than zero and here i have taken the size as queue size minus one that means at least one element will remain in the queue and till the time my size minus minus is greater than zero what do i do i reverse the entire queue up i pull out the element i add it back onto the queue once i'm done with this uh, i simply the rest of the sim helper methods are really simple Bool empty checks whether the queue is empty or not top checks the peakmost element of the stack and pop returns the topmost element of the stack or the first element of the queue both are exactly the same so this returns the first element of the queue which will be the most recent element added this tells the uh, most recent element added onto the stack so let's submit this up accept it and 0 milliseconds 100 times faster it's pretty good uh, the time complexity of this approach this uh, helper method is order of 1 the time complexity of this helper method is again order of 1 this helper method is again order of 1 this helper method is order of n because you are reversing the entire queue and let, with this let's conclude today's session i hope you thoroughly enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye